Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazelton and I like to start off my videos with a joke just to lighten the mood. So the joke for this video is, why do bees have sticky hair? They use honeycombs, so hopefully you got a little laugh out of that or at least some sort of happiness. Um, I just want to say I appreciate all the support so much from you guys. I have a huge goal to get to a thousand subscribers by June this year. So really hoping we can do that and I just appreciate all the support so much. So let's get started. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to resize your cover. If you're trying to upload it to Amazon KDP and it keeps rejecting it and you're just having problems. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I already opened up a blank cover here and we're just going to throw something together very quickly. It's probably not going to be that good, but I just want to show you how to do this. So let's just make the background blue. Just going to click here, add the blue, and we're just going to add some text so that way there's something to go along with the cover. Um, I'm just going to put notebook. Let's just do that. Again, this is not going to be a great cover. I'm just showing you how you can adjust your cover size, and let's just add a flower for fun to get something else in there. And I'm going to add something here just so that I know a rough idea of where the spine is. And I'm going to do position, center, middle. I'm going to change the color to something else. Let's do, let's do a different color blue. Okay, so this is the cover that we have. Again, this is obviously not a very great cover. I'm just showing you how to adjust your cover size. So you're uploading to KDP. Keep saying your cover size is wrong, giving you that error message. And normally it will tell you the exact dimensions that you need for your cover. But if for some reason it doesn't, I'm going to show you how you can get that as well. So if you look in this top left hand corner here in the resize button, it will tell you the size of the current cover that you have. And this is the size right here. So if you want to resize your cover and you have the pro version, you can simply type in a new amount right here. I could change it and I could do resize or copy and resize. However, this is available only in the pro version and I want to show you how to do it in case you don't have the pro version just because I know not everybody does. I believe they do have a free trial so if you are interested in trying it, feel free to check it out. But that little crown right there tells me that this is a pro only option with Canva. So if you go to KDP Cover Calculator, you can Google it. Um, it usually should come up and you can select all of these different options and it will tell you exactly what size it needs to be. So I'm just going to do something random um, just to get an idea. Let's say we have 200 pages here, calculate dimensions. So this would be full cover, 17.7 for width and 11.25 inches. So now just head on over to the home page on Canva, do create a design, custom size, go back 17.7, 11.25, change it to inches. Just going to type that in. Make sure that I have that accurately. Yep. And I'll hit create new design. It's going to open up in a brand new tab. And now I'm going to exit out of these because I don't need them anymore. And it'll just take a few minutes to load, and once it's all loaded, then you're going to head back to your original design, highlight everything, and copy and paste it into this new sheet. So this will be the new size that you need. So I'll show you how to do that in a second, just going to give it a little bit to load. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is just highlight the entire notebook here, or the entire cover that I have. And then I'm going to hit Control C. I have a Windows. If you have a different laptop or if you're on your phone, this is probably going to be different. But for me, Control C works. So I just hit Control C. And I'm going to head on over to my brand new cover that I have over here and give it a minute to load just so that it doesn't freak out when I hit paste. I'm just going to click here or click on the document really anywhere and then hit Control V, which should paste the image here. So it didn't copy the background, but that's perfectly fine. The background is going to be pretty easy to do. All you have to do is just highlight the background and select the color that you had, which I believe is this lighter blue. And there you go. Now you have your whole image and I can adjust this to the center again, move this over. You'd have to adjust where they are, but you'll get everything that you already had. This will be so much easier for you to do. 
and then you can double check the size if you want by clicking on the resize and you would download this as a PDF and then you would upload it and this is how you can change your cover size whether you use the pro version or the free version but it's pretty simple and it should save you a lot of time so I really hope that this video was helpful if you have any comments questions anything like that or extra tips and tricks please feel free to comment them below and let me know how you're doing I love getting to know you guys and see how you're doing so definitely do that if you would like to thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic day